Cases are starting to increase again in Douglas County. Yeah, the health department reports 240 new cases since Monday. That's about 60 cases every day. Still well below the peak we saw in January. Doctors are cautiously optimistic we'll avoid another surge in hospital cases. KETV News Watch 7's Joey Safchik is live checking in with local health experts. Joey. Rob, Julie, cases are about double what they were a month ago, and that's probably a low ball because people are testing at home and then not reporting those positive results. COVID cases are on the rise in the metro once again. The BA2 subvariant has very clearly staked its claim. Uh, the trend is in the wrong direction. But it's not all bad news. We're not seeing an upswing in hospitalizations. In fact, hospitalizations are down 35% in the last month, according to Douglas County Health. The message from UNMC infectious disease expert Mark Rupp, proceed with cautious optimism. How do we continue to exist and coexist with this virus? Um, it's not going to go away. Uh, we're going to continue to see it. Rupp says we can be careful without reverting to cancellations. But this virus isn't going to go away. He still recommends wearing masks in crowded indoor spaces. Outdoor summer fun is a go, although COVID is known for throwing curveballs. Things could turn in the wrong direction and could do so fairly quickly. If you feel sick, Justin Frederick with Douglas County Health says taking a COVID test is a test of personal responsibility. I do have a stockpile of those at-home tests in case those uh, situations arise and I can test myself to make sure that I'm not exposing other people. But the upswing in cases is mirrored by an upswing of a more pleasant nature. We're still seeing people get vaccinated and, and people with the boosters. Uh, we've seen a, an uptick in the number of uh, doses that we've been administering. Everyone understands it's uncomfortable to stick a swab up your nose and maybe it's inconvenient to put your life on pause or take time off work. But there is another good reason to test if you feel symptoms. You might be eligible for medications or treatments that weren't around a few years ago. Reporting live, Joey Safchik, KETV Newswatch 7.